Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The FBI tracking a big jump in active shooter cases. The number of cases from 2020 to 2021 jumped 50%. More than 100 people were killed. Tonight, an investigation remains underway after a man on a bike was hit and killed by a garbage truck. It happened in a neighborhood off Franklin Boulevard and Mack Road. The man accused of shooting and killing a pet cat named Mr. Meow in Calaveras County must now stay at least 100 50 feet away from the cat owner's home and workplace. The 19-year-old is pleading not guilty to animal cruelty. COVID-19 cases are still increasing in nearly every state, and one school district in the Bay Area is now reinstating the mask mandate. We've been watching cases uh, rise in our school community as well as regionally, and interestingly, right now we're seeing more clusters. Meanwhile, Pfizer says three doses of its COVID-19 vaccine are 80% effective at preventing symptomatic COVID infections in children six months to five years old. Each shot will be one-tenth of the adult dose. Emergency use authorization could come as early as this summer. More than 200 cases of the monkeypox have now been reported around the globe. In America, Utah health officials are reporting at least these two possible cases, Florida, New York State, and Massachusetts, are each reporting one presumptive case. There is a new recall tonight. The maker of Jif is recalling several sizes of both its creamy and crunchy peanut butter after possible salmonella contamination was traced back to a plant in Kentucky. More fallout over the war in Ukraine. Starbucks is leaving Russia after nearly 15 years. Experts say it does not really impact the coffee giant, and they feel the move was necessary. There is no way that... Uh... Starbucks could legitimately continue operating in Russia with no end in sight in the war. Meanwhile, the first Russian soldier has been jailed for life in the first war crimes trial of the Russian invasion. He was sentenced for killing an unarmed civilian. And President Biden is making news during his trip to Asia, suggesting U.S. armed forces could be called in to defend Taiwan from Chinese aggression. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are? That's a commitment we made. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.